Hello everybody, Ignacio Blakes here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showcasing you how to get combos on the hive, snowball combos, bow combos, and block combos. All the combos you need for Sky Wars, Treasure Wars, and survival games. I want you guys to go comment down in the comment section below what's your favorite type of combos you like to do on the hive. And let's get right into the video. Okay, so first about 1v1ing. And the hive, you're gonna have to fix your fove. I say 90 fove is the best fove, but if you have a big monitor, I say 70, go for 70. But you know, if you're one of those, you know, if you're on playing on the laptop, maybe go for 100 so you can see everything, or maybe 110 if you're absolute crazy. But I'll stick with 90, it's probably the best fove for PvP and uh, on the hive, I think, in my opinion. If you if you have a keyboard and mouse, I say for mouse sensitivity, if your DPI's. You know, I say go for slower, not as fast. For example, my mouse sensitivity is um, 13, but my DPI is um, uh, 1800, so it's pretty high up. It's just like I have some, you know, small sensitivity. I, I have some pretty good, decent sensitivity. Make sure it's not really fast because if you're aiming, it's going to be very shaky and it's not good. So I'm going to show you an example of, you know, strafing. Okay, this is an example of sumoing basically. And make sure you start W tapping at the end, you know. Um, so that was an example of me sumoing. Um once you get them to like a block off the ground, I say you start um W tapping, which is you holding you're holding your sprint key and you're just pressing W and you're just like going like this you're going like a fat little like you're taking small steps while punching them in the air and then you know so yeah you saw me here when I was going to get spitball I literally went this this is spitball right here and let's say spitball is trying to attack me you can go for one side and then you can turn around or then you can circle line up so make sure you, to practice your aim I say practice it on a block or practice it on an AFK person on hub physics come over here real quick Okay, let's say this. You gotta practice your aim. Like, look up, look down. So you just gotta, you gotta make sure your cursor is on it at all times. You know, make sure you're moving fast. So make sure you have like little strafes. So you're just practicing on them like this, and then like move, move at the same time like that. So you just kind of strafe on them. You hold W and A or W and D to move in a like a sideways direction, and you just gotta practice it. I say mess around with your mouse sensitivity, feel what's best about strafing, and you'll probably get it in the back. This is an example of strafing. Let's say their aim gets so messed up because I'm literally on them. You see how I got behind them easily just because I'm strafing? It's that simple. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about snowballs. With snowballs, you're going to need a key behind. For example, I have no the four key slot as F, so it's right next to D, so I can place it and punch. So like place and okay, let me use my fist. I can place it and then like I can throw it and then use my you know sword, but I'm not using my sword. You know it's that simple. So let's get right into this dude's gonna run at me. I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw a snowball, and it's easy knock back in the air. Literally look at this. Come over here. Okay, so come over here. So I'm gonna throw a snowball. And it's easy knock back in the air. Let's say you're trading hits. Wait, let's say you're trading hits and like and it's an easy knock combo in the air, dude. So yeah. Yeah, you see that's an example of snowball PvP and on the hive. So you're basically gonna need snowballs. Um snowball combos in Sky Wars, which is important. So yeah. Okay, so the next tip I'm gonna be talking about is block combo. So let's say this is you right here, and you know the dude's actually gonna you know combo you he has more cps he's gonna he has better aim to mess that all up place a block punch him and he's like he's no longer gonna get that combo on you so okay okay now i'll place a block his aim is messed up dude and i can place another block and i can place this one oh well if only the hive didn't like you know So that's kind of how you get, you know, um, easy snowball combos. 
I mean, not snow boss. Okay, so he's gonna come in here. He's gonna come in here. You place that block and messes up his combo. You saw that? He's gonna try to. He's gonna get a combo on me. But then I'm gonna place one block. Now uh, that's how you stop a combo. Now what I'm going to be talking about is bow combo. So let's say this dude's running at you. It's basically the same thing as Snowball. You get an extra knock back up and you get a punch, you know? You get an extra knock back up and you punch them. So look, look at this. They're going to run at you straight and then you got an extra knock back. You see like, that's how you get extra, that's how you get extra KB. So let's say this dude's going to chase me. And then you get um, extra knock back right there. Easy combos, you know? Okay, so, um, yeah, that's that's easy KB right here. Let's say he runs at me, and I get that easy combo. That's how you get a combo with a bow. A bows are pretty OP for c close combat, if you time it right. Just make sure you don't choke with Snow Boss either. And uh, you only use blocks to stop a combo, I would say. Let's say this dude's gonna combo me, I'll place a block before, like, I would get trapped in his combo, and I can run away. So that's about it, or you can combo them back. Thank you guys for watching this video, how to PvP. I'm gonna be working on a, a how to PvP video on mobile with physics, with Tisa mobile player on the hive, and he can get fly combos and everything else. So uh, thank you for everyone in this video. Shout out to Owen, Spitball, it's D, Dan, YT, NVT, XN, and uh, Teeny BB. I think that's the person's IGN. So shout out to all these dude. Go check out Spitball. He donated to me once on the live stream. So go check out his channel. Go check out my channel. Subscribe. And uh, go subscribe to Physics channel too, because he uh, he's always there for my YouTube videos, and you know he's always supporting.